Welcome to Sundays and Seasons On Demand Training. You have chosen the module entitled Making Templates from the SundaysandSeasons.com Using the Planner series. One of the most powerful features of SundaysandSeasons.com is the ability to make and use templates. I've taken you to the bottom of the home page where you find your user content, your worship plans, your worship templates, and your custom texts. The center tab is your worship templates. Templates are worship plans that you have adapted to your local setting and then saved as a template so you don't have to go through that adaptation process again and again. Instead of beginning your worship plans from scratch, you can start from a template. All of the lectionary based content in SundaysAndSeasons.com will auto populate a template as readily as it does a worship plan. But the advantage of starting from a template is that it retains the pattern for worship that's unique to your congregation. Let me show you what I mean by going into the planner. I'm going to hit the planet button and take you to the next page. It's a page of the SundaysAndSeasons.com calendar, the day view. I'm going to make a new worship plan for Sunday, April 3rd, 2016. The first step of building a worship plan is to select a base liturgy. That's great, except we all know that we don't do church exactly the same way that the hymnal directs us to. That's why building and saving templates makes for so much efficiency. Let's select ELW Holy Communion setting 3. I immediately see things about this worship plan that need to be adapted to fit our local practices. I'm going to insert a new custom text. Click in the insert arrow, selecting an element, choosing custom text, and naming it Prelude. I'm going to move that Prelude ahead of gathering using the move up down arrow. I'm going to insert another custom text. And I'm going to name it Announcements. I'm going to move the gathering song underneath the announcements. And I'm going to rename it Opening Hymn. Now I'm going to move the greeting ahead of the confession. I'm going to make some selections under Confession and Forgiveness that fit our local practice. And then I'm going to delete the thanksgiving for baptism. By now, I hope you are all saying, I really don't want to do all that for every worship plan I create. Well, neither do I. That's why when I've created a worship plan I want to reuse again and again, I rename that plan in a generic way. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Sundaysandseasons.com automatically saves your work in worship plans, but if you want to convert a worship plan to a worship template, click on the Save button and choose Create New Template from this plan. For example, you can save them to a Church Administrators folder, or maybe Pastor's Plans that are in process. Saving templates to folders allows you to easily access them the next time you want to start a plan. From I'm going to click Pastor's Plans, and then I'm going to click Go, and that's exactly where that template now resides. So let's get our bearings. I started a worship plan for the second Sunday of Easter. 
I made some changes in ELW Holy Communion Setting 3, and now I have saved it as a template. Let's go back to the home page and start again. This time with a different day. Instead of the second Sunday of Easter, let's move ahead a month, May 15th, the day of Pentecost. As we look at the options concerning the day of Pentecost, here on this page of the calendar, we see that we can choose the weekly service that we want to plan. Let's call it 9 o'clock a.m. service. The location, let's call it sanctuary, and the template. Let's use the template that I created under Pastor's Plans. ELW 3 Communion Template. Planet. So even though we are on a completely different day than the original worship plan that we created the template from, we see indeed that our prelude is there, our announcements are there. Instead of gathering song, we have an opening hymn. We have moved our greeting ahead of confession and forgiveness. We have removed the thanksgiving for baptism. And our choices in regard to confession and forgiveness are still in place. We've created a template and now have used this template to start a completely different service. Let's go back to the user content area on the home page where I can show you how templates can be managed from that location. So under worship templates, you'll find under pastor's plans, the ELW communion template that we just created. If I check it and hit the pencil button, which is edit worship template, we can bring up that template. Let's say we forgot to add something. Perhaps some rubrics in regard to taking Holy Communion in our local congregation. I'm going to scroll down before the meal, insert a new element, select an element type. In this case, it's going to be a custom text from a folder. And I am going to choose from local rubrics, instructions for Holy Communion at St. Mark's. Check. Preview. Looks good. It's something that we use in every order of service. And so let's save. The power of templates is the power to arrange content in SundaysAndSeasons.com to match your local patterns for worship. To save that pattern as a template and then to use that template over and over again. As a basis for your worship planning, because that template best reflects the actual worship practices of your church. This concludes our Sundays and Seasons on demand training video entitled Making Templates from the Using the Planner series. To learn more about the planning process, please check into our other planner related training modules like the Planner Overview and Insert New Elements. It's our goal to help you get the most out of your subscription to sundaysandseasons.com.